Oh, he's <laughs> 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 Double header? No. Oh, you man. There we go. I got one. I just need about five more here. I got 11 million followers. <laughs> Look at that stringer. Woo! <laughs> All right, Justin from Magnolia Pier, bait and tackle. How you guys doing? <laughs> he saw that I suck at uh, herring fishing and he Those knew suck. I needed flashers. I came unprepared, so he gave me two flashers. So if you come herring fishing in the winter time, you're gonna hit up Justin. Yeah, I'll fish with you. Shout it out. But they're here, so is every, you know, we'll catch them. All right. You heard it. We are catching. It's not bad. Now that I got flashers, we're going to catch a lot. There we go. Fresh. Trying to keep them fresh. How is it going, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Clams. I'm Will, and I'm here at the Magnolia Pier. Uh, Long Beach, Long Island, uh, doing herring fishing. It's been uh, it's been pretty good. So I fished for a couple of hours, and I'm filming the intro now. It's chaos out there. It's they got radios on, guys cursing. <laughs> it's a lot of people, so it's a little bit hard to film. Um, I tried to film little snippets of the herring coming over, but uh, it's just it's hectic. You got tide was ripping today, and. Uh, the minute a couple of people get fish on, they cross lines, and you're fishing with these sabiki rigs with six little hooks on them. They get tangled up. It's uh, absolute chaos. But I got six in my bucket. We're gonna go home. I've done it before on the channel where I pickled them. I pickled some the other day, but we're gonna pickle some, and we're actually gonna make uh, a Russian salad. This one is for my grandma. Uh, I'm gonna tap into my Russian side, and uh, let's head back to the house. I let my herring completely cool down. I put them in the fridge overnight. One of the things is after you catch them, definitely scale them then. Otherwise the scales dry on and uh, they can get a little bit hard to scale, which is a problem because they're very fragile. And uh, if you go in there and start trying to scale them like you would a normal fish, you're gonna start ripping them up they can get mushy fast. And the other thing that I like to do is the minute before I put them away, I uh, gut them as well. So we're just using the uh, flays on this. So what I'm gonna do is take the flays off, clean them up a little bit, put them in the container here, and then I have equal parts salt and sugar right here. Um, that's just gonna get sprinkled on top and then they're gonna sit only for about an hour. That's gonna start the process of drawing out the moisture and curing them. While that's going on, we're gonna make our pickle brine. But first, let's take all the uh, fillets off here. So I take the head off. It's easier with a towel or paper towel so that you can get a little bit of a grip. Start at the tail. There you go. A nice, perfectly clean filet. We're gonna take those pin bones out of the side, so we'll set that aside for now. And the other side. So the next thing I want to do is take out these rib bones and we're just going to get underneath them there and cut off the belly. And 
And there we have our cleaned herring filet. Absolutely beautiful. Now for our pickling liquid, I'm going to put that on low heat, some black peppercorns, two bay leaves, and some sliced onion. Then I have white vinegar. And this is white wine vinegar. You could use champagne vinegar as well. I just want to add something with a little more body and taste to it. And then just water, equal parts vinegar and water. So. Then I have sea salt. And cane sugar. And now I will taste this and just see if I need to adjust a little more vinegar, a little more water, salt, sugar, but I'm gonna let it warm up and let everything marry. All right, so once this comes up to a boil, I'll shut it off and let it cool down almost completely before we pour it onto the herring. Now I've heard two schools of thought when it comes to pickling liquid. One is that you never ever want to bring it up to a boil, that you bring it to just under a boil and then shut it off. Now the other that I've heard is you absolutely want to bring it up to a boil and the minute it just starts boiling, you shut it off. We're going to bring this up to just below a boil because I want it to cool down. I don't want to poach my herring. I want to pickle my herring. So right when this starts bubbling which it looks like it's about to we're actually going to take this off the heat been about an hour and as you see pulled out a bunch of moisture from our herring fillets so i'm going to rinse these off real quick look how pretty these are Now we add our pickling liquid. So really this is the most time consuming thing of this dish is just pickling the herring. But we got these ready to go and I will see you in no less than two days. So it's been a couple of days. My herring looks amazing. Pull this out. That looks, smells wonderful, and that looks absolutely perfect. All right, we're gonna put this aside. We're gonna chop that up in a minute. So what we're making today is called shuba, and shuba is a Russian salad. It translates, it has, every time you look it up, it says something different, but it's herring in a fur coat, fur coat salad, dress salad, coat salad, but uh, basically what it is, is a bunch of root vegetables. So I have potatoes, carrot, beets, and eggs. And then you chop those up and you layer them. And uh, in between each layer, it gets a little bit of mayonnaise. And then you have the uh, pickled herring and a little bit of onion on that second layer. And then when you chop into this salad, it's this beautiful layered, almost like cake piece. Um, Pretty much everything can go in one pot. The only thing that I'm not gonna put in the pot, I'm actually gonna roast my beets because I don't want them to die 
everything purple so that we do get that really beautiful layered effect. So I'm gonna roast my beets, boil my carrots, potatoes and eggs all in one pot and pull them out as needed. And then we'll build, a build our salad. These are going to go into the oven at 350 for about 40 minutes. Once this comes up to a boil, I'm gonna lower it down to a simmer, and then in five minutes, I'll pull out the eggs. In about 15 minutes, I'll pull out the carrots, and then 30 minutes, the potatoes will be done. My carrots are actually starting to float already, so they are done. So I'm gonna pull those and set them aside. Next coming out are my eggs, and straight into an ice bath. Okay, now I've let everything cool down completely. So we're gonna start shredding and all you need is a cheese grater. And we're gonna grate everything in layers. I have here a mold. You could do this with a ring mold. You could do it just in a container and then scoop it out very gently and you'll still get the layered effect. I happen to have one of these in the house so I figured why not. Also, you know when you do things so many times you go on autopilot and you might forget a step to make your life easier with the beets. If you take the beets, do everything that I did with them, but then put a little bit of water in the pan and cover them with another piece of tin foil, what'll happen is that skin will steam off. So when you go to grab them, it almost comes off like a sock. And that's why I was really confused why the skin wasn't coming off easily. And then I remembered that I forgot those two very important steps. So a little bit of water, cover it, and they'll actually cook faster and the skin will be a lot easier to take off. So let's start building our salad.
Okay, now that everything is layered, and I didn't, if you notice, I didn't like mash it down. You don't want to do that. You just want to press everything firmly so that it compacts just a little bit so that when you cut it, like I said, you get all those really cool layers. But this has to go into the fridge for no less than one hour to kind of set. And then once it sets, we'll pull this ring off and we'll see if we did it. So normally you would let this salad sit at least overnight for a day. The longer it sits, the better it is. All the flavors marry together. Another thing that you might have noticed is how much salt that I put into the water when I boiled the uh, potatoes and carrots. The reason why is because no other seasoning was going into the salad itself. So I put a little bit extra just to make sure that our salad is not bland. So let's take it out. Gonna go around the edge. Yes! <laughs> yes! That looks perfect. That is, that is beautiful. I did doubt it for a second. I will admit that. But that is beautiful. Let me, let me grab a close up for you there. That is exactly what I wanted. Right now that the camera's rolling, say what you said. Yeah, I walked into the kitchen and saw this and I said, oh, that looks so nice. I didn't even have to pay her, she said. <laughs> <laughs> Again, just for anyone that's new to the channel, this is Mama Clams, this is my mom. Hi. And... Excuse me, yeah. you should turn this around well, so they can we see. Did. Okay. okay. But we did, we did, we did it's a close up. <laughs> it looks um, like it belongs in a bakery window, truthfully. <laughs> this one's yours. Thank you. So one of the reasons that I did do this is my mother loves pickled herring absolutely loves pickled herring. And then I wanted to tap into, I've done a couple of Sicilian recipes on here. I wanted to do another Russian recipe to represent my grandmother. I don't remember her ever making this though. No. No, the first no, person- No, she didn't. She made pashka, uh, which is a type of pudding. But yeah, I don't ever remember this. Wow, dig in? Yeah. That is, mm. It's such a nice blending of all the flavors. Mm -hmm. It really is, it's lovely. Yeah, it's sweet, the vinegar from the, from the uh, herring. <laughs> <laughs> the vinegar from the herring cuts through the richness of the uh, mayo. Yeah. And then the egg yolk is, also very rich, but the beets are earthy. The carrots yeah. are sweet. Yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> mm. It evidently is a chore to make, but <laughs> I would I would do it because the result is really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's also cholesterol boomer, but you know, we won't eat. We'll share with the neighbors. <laughs> okay, guys. If you like this episode hit like, hit subscribe. I know I did two herring episodes in a row, row, but that's just because I was so excited that I didn't get skunked this season that I really wanted to do one, a Sicilian recipe, and two, a Russian recipe to represent both sides of my family. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> it really is, yeah. yeah. I mean, it doesn't, it, like I said, it could be in the front window of a bakery. <laughs> I'm it's happy. really beautiful. Yeah. You know, I was I was nervous when I was pulling the the ring off, but Yeah, it's gorgeous.
Very good. 